We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. Hey guys, this is Dimitri Klinen. Uh, I am the community manager for 1111, and I am here with uh, Elijah Wood. Hi. You play uh, Harry. I do. In 1111, correct? Yes, I do. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, Harry's personality? Sure. Um, Harry's a young guy from Canada who, very naive um, photographer, you know, kind of wants to live a life of adventure, um, is in love with this girl back in, in Toronto, and there's this sort of opportunity that he has to, to go to um, World War I and not necessarily to put himself in harm's way, but to be a photographer. And he, he sort of does this in some ways to impress her, to be sort of a man and to have this life experience. And he kind of gets there and it's, it's, it ends up being far more intense than he'd imagined. And, and the sort of reality of the, the loss and you know, the, the stakes of war become very apparent very quickly. What, what really intrigued me about the project was its art style, the fact that it has this sort of almost um, watercolor living painting feeling to it. I'd never really seen that in a game before. I really love Ardman Studios, the animation studio behind Wallace and Gromit and Chicken Run. I love their animation style. So the fact that they were involved was really exciting to me. And the fact that, that this was a story about two characters from opposite, opposite sides of the war cultural differences, but ultimately realize that they're just two humans. Um, that, you know, stripping away the kind of, uh, the, 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 the fact that they're meant to be enemies, they're, they're just two humans in, in, a, in an extraordinary situation. And I loved that aspect of it, that this is not a, a war game in the t traditional sense. There are all these different games that, that are first person shooters, that are about the, the act of killing in war, um, and the kind of action of war, and to take a different approach and talk about the humanity of war that really has nothing to do with, with strapping on, um, with holding a gun and shooting a gun, was just interesting to me. It was just a very different approach. I mean, it is ultimately about war and it's about loss, um, but they did try and find ways for some of those endings to have a silver lining or to not be absolutely tragic or sad. Guys, thank you for joining us. 1111 Memories Retold will be out November 9th. Uh, look for it on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Elijah, do you have anything else to say before we take off to the fans? Nothing else. Uh, I hope you enjoy the game. I'm excited to play it myself. Thank you for joining me. All right, buddy.